What's up, this is H -U. So before I actually start this video, let's drop a like and then subscribe to my channel and follow me on here. Because this is my main Facebook account, but it's to a different browser. So I'm tackling a different account to see this one. Since I can't do two browsers at once because the Mac doesn't have enough memory. RAM to actually run all this together, so I'm making do. So apparently there's a lot of Windows 10 issues apparently coming up with uh, 15 million users. Apparently I just noticed it just now. As you can see, there is issues definitely with, with security and probably more vulnerability and it doesn't sound good. Like everything about Intel, it's not good. There's been so many uh, recalls to their phones uh, their desktop processors are mobile and it's this machine runs on Intel uh, as well but it's on an older generation but still is affected in a way from the previous attacks you know these vulnerabilities it is running an i5 I believe Excuse me. so it's really always doesn't have the new Apple chip and all that but it does run the latest OS. There is one kind coming out this Lord. fall that's kind of lean up. It's a little <laughs> bit better, but I may want to. I'm going to have to save up because I don't know. I really want a Windows PC and gaming, but this sounds like it's too serious to actually invest in a Windows machine. Apple, as long as I get an iMac, I think I'll be fine because Apple does make good soft have good hardware and software usually so I don't think I have to worry about crashing and things like that. I guess I'll keep up the day and they update their software all the time. It'll take 30 minutes to install. Have a phone, I'll probably do like one thing at a time because you know I only have like two Apple devices that are technically used right now. There's one more but as well as another. That's from the 2009 era. My first iPod, you know, it's one of those 3G, 32 gig. I got the same kind of size for a letter version of it when I first got my 25% off at Walmart for working Thanksgiving. So that was a 32 gig iPod Touch with the lightning cable connector. So yeah, there is new attacks. Uh, as scary as it can be. So, uh, there is probably with ransomware. There is with viruses, maybe. I mean, there's so many things that are possible with this ecosystem that Apple apparently is working better on. And their MacBooks are having trouble. The cables for the display are kind of breaking inside because they're cheaply thin. They're not thick. The case is not the right kind of size. So I was going to get one, but I, I'm, pulling my, I'm holding it off. Man, I don't have the money anyway. Can't technically afford it at the moment. So I'm waiting for a couple days. I'll get paid Thursday. I'll take another 100 off until I actually reach my $1,000 goal or more to get a new iPhone because they're really expensive, but I don't think they're worth it because mine's been lasting. I just have to keep it charged all the time when I use it, basically the OS. 
is so much newer than the hardware that it's having a tr trouble with the, with the hardware itself because it, it's killing it. It's kind of like choking it to death. It's so new software that this so the hardware is getting obsolete. And it is obsolete, so they don't make the version anymore. We sell straight talk phones at Walmart, you know, we sell the iPhones, but that'd be money to spend extra. You can't run the Verizon probably unless you have an unlocked chip. Even then, I would have to enter a code. And I'm not even sure my SIM card would work with a newer phone. This is old generation 4G. And the newer iPhones have different kind of SIM SIM card so you know my plan is just basically unlimited I get 15 gigs of data for the hotspot feature and then I, after that it's like hugely unusable speed basically and the other one is like something like 22 gigs and they supposed to slow you down but they never did so I never used that much anyway like since this camera I only used like 40 gigabytes I think maybe a little less than that but yeah, yeah, I don't use a lot. For three months or more, like six months, you're not gonna use something like that on an old iPhone anyway. I mean, it just doesn't happen. Especially if the YouTube app and you have, you know, videos downloaded already from the, your ISP, then it doesn't use so much data. So yeah, just how it is. But most of the time, those were saved on the storage or they technically use data but um, lately it's like three and a half three point eight gigs from the Safari browser because I got lock ads because I'm a YouTuber and I get ads played on my channel I can't watch it on them because it's rules. Google has rules for their own associates to work on YouTube you know you can't promote encourage your audience to click ads. It is against the rules terms of service you know, for Google the platform of YouTube basically so yeah enjoy the video you know thing like that it's all right but don't I can't encourage you guys for that so probably subscribe below if you already haven't and I try to upload these videos I just got off like a six day constantly working I did work uh, the 4th of July and it was just crazy. I was going to cut pressure schedule. Pretty long shift, but we did 10 to 7 shift and then the next day I pulled a muscle in my bag. It took a couple days to heal. I'm usually quick on that because I iced two different regions with better ice facts that one night on Saturday evening. By the time I got home around 9, it was like 9.30 or more and by the next day the pain was pretty much gone. So I do heal quickly if I pull a muscle in the back area. The body just heals it faster and it stayed cool one hour after I stopped icing it in the back. It literally felt cold for one hour or more. past the time when I removed the ice pack and put it in the freezer. And those ones are for carrying factors if you don't, if you don't know where you have this kind of illness like where you're bleeding internally. It's in factor protein. That's in vials that has to be refrigerated. But they put these ice packs to make sure when they're in travel in transit that they stay cool and they stay good. Like as long as they're cool, they last two years from the date they're manufactured. I have like a time stamp when they're good and when they're bad. And they still use the factor overseas when they're bad and when they should not. But you know, it's really expensive. You can spend over five grand on medicine for that disease. My disease is really expensive. When it gets out of control with hemophilia, I even had the two bleeds the first month of the year. I actually had the first bleed, then I had it again in the same area, and then I had a bleed in my hand because of doing something. I noticed that this is hemophilia related, and I got lucky and we started treating it before it got worse again use the nose spray which I can't use anymore because my body just doesn't know already usually police is something similar like a substitute to factor eight but doesn't increase the levels but increases clouding activity in my blood 
basically for like 24 hours, 30% or more. Got a 50% bind rate where it binds proteins. So I usually get the flu like symptoms, the cramps, the throwing up now. So that's that's not gonna be used in more apparently because my body can't handle it. It reacts severely to it. So it's gonna be a factor from now on. But thankfully I haven't had really any bleeds that bad. I did have an injury, it was probably two months ago where it was windy, really windy in Ducoin from my state of Illinois and the garage door hit my hand. Quite literally went down, hit hard and I had to use the medicine and the next day I was I had to miss work. And you know, luckily I had protected PTO which means I don't get a point so they excused it. Okay, you we had, you had paid time, protected time. These eight hours, you're fine. You know, they removed the point once it went into the system. It detected that I wanted to use miracle paid leave, so it did. It took the point away, so I'm good. That hand's been healed up, hold up for a whole week. It eventually went down. I only used time it probably one day, and it healed pretty good. I, I'm a pretty good, I'm sure, because it, it doesn't even hurt. But you know, I had to keep weight off for a while, but. Making sure I don't overdo this and things, you know. So I'm doing a lot better than I was earlier. I'm trying to lose weight, 230 pounds, but lost some weight maybe. But, you know, depending on what I give up. You know, I give up soda most of the time. I still drink it every now and then, but not as aggressive as I usually, usually would. But, you know, it's a step forward. <coughs> Thanks for watching.